Hello good people! We have a very exciting tutorial for you today. Even though it's not really a tutorial, it well, I can put it in the form of a tutorial. So today guys, I'm going to show you guys how you can make the best website ever using the best application called Sandbox from Corellia Software. Um, it is a little pricey for some people. Um, the normal version is $57 and the pro version is $99. Um, but if you're really into making websites and you need to have a website and you want it to look professional and you, you know, need all these cool features, then get Sandbox, guys. It is totally worth it. There are so many features and that's basically what I'm going to show you guys. So, like I said, I'm basically going to go through all the features of Sandbox, talk about the things that I like, talk about the things I don't like, and then I'll plug a bunch of links and then the tutorial will be over. So, this is the interface of Sandbox. Very, a very clean interface, very Apple-like um, right here at the top you have page, page lips, and collections. Pages are basically these things on the side, the type of pages you can have. Pagelets are basically the things on the page. And then collections are basically groups of stuff like photo albums, download lists, um, a blog. And then none of this other stuff is really that important. Designs. This is how you pick a theme for your site. Um, I believe it comes with over 50 themes. And every time that there's an update, there's more themes. So if you guys decide to get it, and there's not a theme that you don't, and there's a theme that you don't like, check back in a month, and I will guarantee you guys will find a theme that you do like. So I'm just gonna go through the pages and the pagelets and the features that I absolutely love about the Sandbox and makes me want to use it over anything else. So under pages, rich text, basic text, you know, contact form. External page, file download, raw HTML, those are some of the things that I use. My favorite is definitely the external page. Basically, it gives me the ability to link to an external page. Uh, so if I were to click on live, this page actually redirects you to my live show on newstream.tv, and the URL is right there, so there's one of the plugs. Um, under pagelets, one of the things that I really like, and I think you guys will like too, is the dig list. I happen to not have a dig list. But I know that a lot of people do, so you guys can have a dig list on there. Um, you guys can have a contact form, an IM status, Flickr badge, mini YouTube video, and then I guess HTML at the bottom. Those are some things that I like the best. Um, an example of some of these is on my contact page. Right here I have the IM status thing. And what's really cool about Sandbox is that for every pagelet, there's even more features. So it's like you have Sandbox, you have features, and then you have even more features. And then you have features within those features. So if I were to click on the Inspector tool, not only can I choose, you know, iChat AIM, I can also choose Skype or Yahoo Messenger. I can change the chat with me, the online and the offline things if I wanted to. Con this little contact form thing, which is probably one of my favorite features, if not my favorite feature. And then basically you can choose the type of fields that you want. I could basically add another field if I wanted to, if I wanted a field where they had to check some, have a checkbox or a pop-up, I could do that. It's one of the things I really like. Um, just some HTML, this is the donate page. Um, before I go in to the stuff I didn't like, I'd like to talk about the integration with Google. As you guys know, Google offers many services like AdWords, meta tags. Um, what's another one? Someone give me another one. Uh, AdSense, there's AdSense, and there is Analytics. Um, unfortunately, Google does not, I'm sorry, Sandbox does not incorporate, it does not have AdSense built in, but I'll talk about that in a little bit. But as far as the other Google services that I mentioned, go under Site and then under the Google tab, Right here, guys, you have all this Google incorporation as well as things on the side right here. My favorite was analytics, so, so I can measure how well my site's doing. I really couldn't do that in um, iWeb, which is why I like Sandbox, again. Um, so I think it's great that it, off, that it basically has the Google services built in. Um, overall, I would have to give Sandbox a 9 out of 10 on the Epic scale. Um, there were actually two things I didn't like, and it was basically moving the pagelets around. Basically, the pagelets are either in 
a column on the left, a column in the middle, and a column on the right. Um, a good example would be, you know, maybe the contact form. Let's say I wanted to have this contact box horizontal underneath the contact information. I can't do that. I only have the option to put it in the column on the left, right here, or the column on the right. Or I'd have to make an entirely new page for that. Then I wouldn't be able to add the text. So that's something that I don't like is that there isn't that the free form movement like iWeb has. However, San, I talked to some people, um, some of the creators of Sandvox, and they told me that they were working on that, and that's a feature that you might see later. Um, another thing that I didn't like is, and I really talked about this earlier, is it doesn't have AdSense built in. So there's no AdSense pagelet um, exactly. But you can make an AdSense pagelet in the sense for anyone, if you guys know about AdSense, with AdSense you can make your own ads and for every ad there's basically an HTML code and basically you can just put the HTML code in the raw HTML. And then there you go, then you'll have ads. But it'd be easier if it was built in for people that don't know about that HTML stuff. But that's also something that Cor that Corella software was thinking about adding. Um, other than that, Sandbox is great. I highly recommend it. Even if you guys have no intention of making a website whatsoever, or have no intention in Sandbox, or have no intention of or no intention of being enjoyed by this video in any way, shape, or form, at least download the trial and try it out, because I will guarantee you it will change your mind. You guys will start to use the features, and you guys are going to create a website that you absolutely love, and you're going to want to publish it. You guys will want to get the full version. So that's pretty much it, guys. Like I said earlier, time to plug some links. Twitter.com slash Fisher12 and Mac OS X Tutorials 12. Scratch that. Mac, Twitter... What, what did I just say? Scratch those links. Twitter.com slash Fisher12 and www.macosxtutorials.com. Guys, click the link in the right. That will have the link to download Sandbox. Do it up, guys. Uh, thank you to Corelli Software for allowing me to review it. Yes, this was a review. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and, you know, take care.